going on with the poll this week? It was literally three votes total. <sighs> and one was from my mother-in-law. So that... And we told her it's two... <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be our review of VHS. Is the synopsis? Independent movie developers have come together to make this movie. It's a series of five clips of different genres of horror, basically, and kind of like urban legends. So overall, uh, <sighs> I enjoyed two of them. Right, and there's a total of five clips, and it sucks because, like, I get it. Each story has to be different, but I only liked the last one. And maybe, I see it's even hard. I don't even know the other one that I really like. It was that forgettable. Like, I, I like the forest one with, like, the digital... Yeah, it was alright. Digital demon or whatever you want to call it. Digimon. But there's a part in that, it's just so stupid. Yeah. Like, when he's like, the guy gets killed, he's going like this, and the effects weren't even good. It was... Yeah, it was really bad effects. We couldn't watch the whole beginning thing, and it was just... You're doing this, you're jumping around, and me and Corey are like, are we gonna... The editing skills yeah. sickened me. Like, literally, <laughs> they sickened me. But it's supposed to look like an amateur film. Right. And it was supposed to make it seem like it was filmed on a VHS cassette. Mm -hmm. You were saying one of them did... I didn't, I didn't get the plot of this one. The one with the guy who was taking out, like, the babies of these women? Yeah. I didn't get it. What was he doing? I think the idea was that it was has to do with aliens. Like, he was the main guy that just gets women to implant aliens inside their breasts. I don't know. Like, it was weird. I don't. I didn't really understand it either. That's my, that's my take on it. I might be wrong. I don't, I don't. But the other ones didn't make sense either. The hotel one was really weird, too. When or the girl shows up at the hotel, and the guy's like, somebody's at the door. And yeah. he's like, she's asking for a ride. And, it, and then all of a sudden, you come to the end, and the and it, wife ends up making out with the girl... Yeah. Who was the hitchhiker? I think she just like plays these guys and makes them come out less so they can kill them, but I guess? It's not a full movie. No. It's an episode. They don't have the time to explain everything that's going on. But the thing that hurts this movie so much, I believe, is that the idea is that these five petty thieves come into this house and are looking for a VHS tape for somebody. That that yeah. they don't explain who or why they do it. And then each guy sits down and puts a video in, and those videos that you see are those five different clips. Mm -hmm. That's the whole plot. And the whole time you have to like look up right. different things that are happening. <laughs> How much? What can you take away from this? Nothing. If you had turned this into a TV series, I think it would have been better. And that's what it felt like to me. It did. Was I entertained? Some of them was entertained, and others just dragged on. Very much so. Like, my favorite one was the end one with the five, five guys go to, ha like, to this house for a that party. That seemed plausible. Right. That's what made it entertaining. But even in that, there was they, they dragged it on. Yeah. Even in that. But then, like, the hotel one you were talking about. Right. Where they were both sleeping. Right. And the girl's in there, and she's got, like, the, the light on the camera right on them. And me and Corey are like, we would both wake up. Not only that, if you're in there to rob the guy, why would you record it? I don't, I don't know. know the point of that. If he were wound it, the whole thing would have been... You obviously would have seen what happened. Yeah. And then my biggest problem with this movie <laughs> is that when they did the webcam video one, it was on the webcam. It's like a VHS. Yeah, yeah. how do you... What? <laughs> how do you... Number one, how do you record... It was all digital. Right, exactly. It, but it still had, like, VHS effects in it. They did a webcam, and it's just like, what? What are you doing? I didn't get it at all. Ain't nobody got time for that. Josh, what would you give this movie? If you had to rate it. Um, I'd give it like a two. If you need a friend, 
You know what to do, you can count on me, cause I'm the number two. I'm gonna have to get 1.5. Mm. So, if you've seen this movie, what do you think? Do you agree with it? Do you like it? What would your rating be? Also, realize, this is a very graphic and violent movie. Oh my god. <laughs> it's so violent. So that is what we thought about this movie. <sighs> what are we doing next week, Josh? Are we doing more or are we going to give it a break for a couple weeks? Let's do video games. Alright, so for the next couple of weeks, we're going to take a break. And I'd like for Netflix to add a little bit more. Yeah. They added a whole lot, and I really like it, but it's not... Like, movies we could really watch and review. Let us know if you guys would like to suggest movies for us to check out and that you think is good, comment below. Or vote on the poll. Or vote There's on the poll. three votes. It's total. Now, I don't know if that's our <laughs> fault for not putting them out correctly. I don't know. Whatever. Mm -hmm. It is what it is. We're taking a couple weeks off. I'll let you know. Just keep following us on Facebook and we'll let you know when we're back. But for now, hope you guys enjoyed. And we'll still see you next time on Netflix Critics. Later. Hey, Corey. Is something different? No, I don't think so. Okay, but... Whatever. Anyway. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye.